So what we're looking at here is one of our scale models. And this scale model is actually one of the three original concepts for our Gen 4 platform. You can see, when we start with scale, it's easy because it's smaller. And the fact is, is that we're using clay because it's an additive and subtractive process. There's a lot of technology today, but we still find that 3D models are crucial to the process because when we're translating from sketches and we're seeing designers that are trying to realize forms and shapes and ergonomics, it's easy to be able to take those and translate that into 3D. You find things that maybe you wouldn't probably in a sketch because things are interacting, you've got your steering post and your suspension here, but you can clearly see that there's a visual that's coming together on this. So how important is this to the process of the whole design from beginning to end? It's extremely important. There's many phases to the design process. First off is going from sketches. So a white, clean piece of paper, sketching concepts, ideas you can see here. We've got a little bit of maybe some platform, now putting some body work over it, looking at different views of headlamps, things like that. So realizing those elements, but then going to either a scale model or a full scale model, which will be full size that we'll do but it's part of just translating what that design's gonna be as we go to more of a production vehicle. But packaging, ergonomics, everything's really critical. So you always need to really go to 3D. It's, it's, it's crucial to realize a, a concept. So does every vehicle start to finish go through this process? Not every vehicle. It depends on the circumstances of the vehicle. Sometimes what we have is a refresh, and that'll be something that'll have a shorter timeline. A full vehicle like the Gen 4 that you see here, that was around a 32 to 36 month process. Uh, if you look at like the Rev chassis, so completely new, paradigm shift within the industry that came from our advanced concepts groups originally, that can be even longer, you know, up to four or five years because of all the challenges and the dynamics of that. Okay, what else do we have in here? So what's cool is we have our old school technology of clay sketching, but we also have new school. And what's cool about BRP is we embrace all our technologies to realize designs quicker. So what we have here is a 3D printer, and we're printing out a part, I think it's gonna be a rim or half of a rim. And what's cool about this is that when we have a model that's digitized, we can quickly realize it here in, in about 24 hours to about 30, you're going to see a part that's about this large that's going to be completely finished. That we'll be able to take off this printer, be able to look at it, evaluate it. If we need to make changes, we can quickly go back to CAD. Uh, we have 3D scanners here as well, so we can scan these models or parts on vehicles, and then we can go back and forth translating to uh, CAD uh, as quick as possible. How old is this technology over here? How old is this? Yeah. Well, this has been around since design's been around. So okay. and then over how, 50 years. Okay, and then how about over here? So this, this technology actually has been around for quite a few years as well, mm -hmm. but it's really being commercialized now. We have three or four of these printers, various sizes, and we're able to uh, you know use these at a non-stop basis where you push the button, it starts printing, and tomorrow we'll get a part. So, but uh, fairly for BRP, we've been, been working on uh, with 3D printers for about a couple of years now. So really embracing different technologies again to uh, get to a, a 3D realization of a, a vehicle. Okay, one final thing. Why are we at the design center today? Well, it's cool because we're celebrating 50 years of design with BRP. And it's quite a milestone because in the power sports industry, there really hasn't been a company that's had design that's so ingrained within the DNA of what the company is. And when I speak about design, it's not only just the style of the vehicle, but innovation, all those things. And that's what really makes BRP unique compared to any other uh, power sports company that's out there.